Hey guys, so in this video I have my stuff from Hairspray that I have. Um, and Hairspray was actually my first, very first Broadway show that I actually saw. So, um, it has like, you know, sentimental, um, I don't know, feeling or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So, um, here we go with that, with my collection and thank you for watching. To start off, I have my Hairspray The Roots book, which is kind of like the Wicked Grimmery, only for like Hairspray. It just, you know, has like photos some part of the script, you know, lyrics, inter interviews, just stuff like that. And then this is the actual full script that I got. Here is my opening night um, playbill that I have for Hairspray, and then it has, like, um, Harvey Firestein, Marissa, and Laura Bell Bundy up top. It says opening night. And then this is just one of the full cast signed playbills that I have. I don't really have, like, a lot of signed playbills from Hairspray. I, don't, I have no idea why, but this one... Um, it's not the original cast. I, it's like one of the ones, I think it's like, um, Shannon, Derg, and Paul, um, or Blake Hammond. I forget which one. Here is the Hairspray Playbill that I have that's, um, actually in black and white. And I just thought, um, I actually saw this one, um, on eBay and I figured I would just buy this one. Um, because, uh, I've never really seen like a Hairspray Playbill in black and white before. Usually they've always been in color. And usually from what I know about them, what's different between like black and white and color is that usually when a show is not um, doing too well or they just decide not to pay the extra money um, to get like a colored cover um, or towards the end of the run like Hairspray was, then um, they'll actually start changing theirs to black and white. Um, so that's just, at least every time I've asked, that's the story I've gotten. So I don't really know if it's true or not, but I just figured I would buy it because um, it, it was interesting. And this actually has um, Harvey from when he returned for like the final months, so that was a plus. And then this is the um, playbill from... And Harvey and Marissa actually were in it together towards the final months. And as you can see, they actually went back to color. So I guess they got more ticket sales or something because the two original stars returned. So I guess it makes sense. But I don't know if you can see their names up top when they returned. And then this is the closing night performance, which has January 4th, 2009 on it instead of like the Hairspray logo. And then these playbills I have, they're just a bunch of random different cast. There's many casts in here from all, all over the place. Well, all from Broadway, I should say. Um, in there, there's, I'm not going to go through them all. Um, there's some with different Tracy's and Edna's. And then here I have all these playbills. There's like 60 something. So these are definitely up for trade from when Hairspray, um, came to Philadelphia. And so I actually saw, um, I didn't see Brooklyn Pulver, I think, who the lead was. She was um, sick or on vacation or something, so I saw one of her understudies. But um, it was still a great show, and so those are all them. I'm not going to take them all out because they're all the same, and there's nothing really special about them. They don't really have photos or anything. And then here is the souvenir program I have for Hairspray, which just has original Broadway photos and stuff like that. And then this is the Hairspray program I have from London which has well, has lots of ads and stuff like that, but like cast lists, some pictures. This is actually from the, um, the new cast, not the original Hairspray cast, but the new one. This is the um, farewell program that they um, came out with for um, Mitchell Ball, who was Edna in Hairspray, he had like 600 performances or whatever, so they just kind of changed the cover, and it has some pictures of, most of the original cast is still here, so, and then it has their bios, and stuff like that, so. And then this one is the original souvenir program from the original London cast with Mitchell Ball, and everyone else. So, stuff like that. Inside. And then here I have this large hairspray poster from London. It's like a group sign up poster. I guess you would hang outside, like, I don't know, church or restaurant. I don't know. And then I have these larger flyers of the original cast of Hairspray in London. And then these are some of my flyers. These are the, well, these are all my Hairspray flyers. 
There's, they're all relatively the same, just like the cover usually changes. Except I have one of every flyer that they came out with, which is right here, which I'll show you because they're a lot easier. This is the very, very first flyer they came out with. This has some slight information, doesn't really have any photos yet. And then this is one after they got like the reviews. They put some photos. And this is a flyer that they came when they won Best Musical and the other Tony Awards. And then this is usually the what you see inside all the flyers, like the current ones. This one just has um, Alexa Vega and Ashley Parker Angel when they came to play Link and Penny. And it's like the same inside as the other ones. This cover, which has different stars, it has like George and then Darlene. Same as the inside. This is when Harvey returned for the final weeks. It's the same as the inside, so I'm not going to show you. And then this is when they came out with, with both of them, when Marissa and Harvey both came back. So, And then I don't know if this is different. I forget. Oh, it's, I don't know. Is it it's slightly different, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Then I just have these small pocket flyers from Hairspray, and then the inside of one of them. The back. This magnet. And then these are flyers from London. This is the original flyer they came out with, which just has some pictures, the original company. And then this is the second flyer, which has the same pictures on the inside, just different cover. And then these are the last of the original Hairspray London cast flyers, and they have the same people in them, but they're different pictures. So that's the flyers from Hairspray and from London. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching my hairspray videos. Um, go check out the uh, Lately Blonde, Phantom, and Wicked ones if you haven't seen them yet. Um, rate, subscribe them, or like. You can't rate anymore. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.